but he's one of the most improved players over the last two years on the PDC circuit. And he's got one of the most solid throws you will see. Really has a, a, a lovely throw. And the one thing I, I like about Ian White's throw is when he pulls the belt dart back to under his chin, there is a split-second stop to make sure it's, it's in the right position. And it's, it's lovely. It isn't forced. You'll never see him use the shoulder in what we call the shot, the, you know, the action where Gary Anderson at times will give a little bit of a push. You can see his head move up at times. Wow. Ian White, he never has that problem. Well, Ian White saw off Dean Wynn Stanley 6-5 in the second round and then beat Robert Thornton, as I say, <laughs> banging in 7-1-8 uh, in a 6-3 win. Gary Anderson, whitewashed Glenn Spearing of Ireland. 6-0 in his second round match and then beat the Wanderer Wayne Jones Wayne Jones had earlier seen off Peter Wright uh, the number 3 seed 6-4 but Anderson overcoming Jones to book his place in this quarter final tie where the winner will be up against Rocket Ronnie Baxter who's just beaten Raymond Van Barneveld Well, Gary Anderson is the only Premier League player left in. Am I right in saying that? I think I am, aren't I? Yes, you are right. Well, he's got to be careful here because Ian White is no mug. Just to remind you again, Premier League starts live on Sky Sports, 7 o'clock this coming Thursday, live from the Echo Arena. And there are still tickets available for some of the arenas as... Ian White takes out the 62 to go 1 0 up against Gary Anderson. That was with the throw, so Anderson won't panic. And I was going to say, there are tickets available to a venue near you. If you go on the pdc.tv website, it will give you all the information of where the arenas are and how you get the tickets. Well, after the third round this afternoon, um, backstage, a few of us were chatting with the crew and we were looking at the quarter final lineup and predicting who would come out on top in the semis in the final. I don't think uh, any of us uh, would have come up with the semi-final lineup of Klassen, Pipe, Baxter. And possibly White. And possibly White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't really know anything about the game. Is that what you're trying to say? Wow. I think what, what that says, Mike, is what we've been saying for a long time, that the standard in the game is so strong right the way down the rankings now and the bloke who's number 32 can take on the best player in the world and beat him where back in the 80s and 90s that didn't happen that often Ross Bray just uh, checking the uh, scores. It is 1 4 4 for the diamond from Stoke on Trent. Wants double 12. For a 1 4 4 out shot. Well, we talked about the 12 darters, Mike, and that's exactly what Ian White has done. He's fired in a 12 dart leg taken out. The 1 4 4 to go 2 0 up on Gary Anderson. And certainly now, Anderson has got to find that prolific scoring power that he possesses. Yes, he took just 10 minutes uh, to win his opening round match against Glenn Spearing 6 0. Gary Anderson, 108.6 he averaged in that game. Not the sort of score that Gary Anderson wanted. He's making it a bit too easy for this man, Ian White, at the moment. Well, Gary Anderson yet to hit a treble 
I should say a big treble in this match. Well, it took him eight darts to hit the treble 20. <laughs> White won a Players' Championship event in Wigan last November and uh, on the way to that victory beat Gary Anderson 6-0 in the semi-final. <laughs> Anderson's last big win against uh, Ian White was in the UK Open back in 2011. Certainly sets it up for Ian White. Gary Anderson now the big 18. He's put some pressure on, but the way Ian White is playing, Gary Anderson's got to hope he misses to get back in this game. Double 16. No problem for Ian White. Looking very dangerous. He's Diamond White. And Gary Anderson now under a bit of pressure to hold on to his throw. Yes, fantastic chance for Ian White to reach a European Tour semi-final. But we've seen matches turn around this weekend. So Anderson will keep plugging away, but that average of White, 103.5. Reflecting how he's come out of the traps flying tonight. Yes, Gary's got to just up his average by another six points per dart. This doesn't sound a lot, but I can assure you it is. Like I've said so many times, when you possess the scoring power that Anderson does, it, it's, it's like a turbocharge. Once it's turned on, it really does run hot. But at the moment... It's running a bit, a little bit lukewarm, isn't it? So we'll be first down to a double here, uh, Anderson. You would expect to stop the rot and get a leg on the board. He's hit a big 11 there, 63 left. Bullseye. Well, he took a 144 out. It's a little bit different in as much as he would have to switch on the trebles. So he's going to set it up, and Anderson comes back with only two darts at a double. And he missed the dart at the bullseye and hit the big, the small three. So seven for double top to put his first leg on the board. Still can't do it. So, Ian White stepping up, and uh, Ross Bray just uh, checking the score. It is actually 60 that White needs, so single 20 for double 20 for a surprise 4 0 lead here. Double 10. Double five now for Ando. Good marker. At last, a leg goes on the board for Gary Anderson as he wipes his brow as he walks back. And a little smile there. And sometimes that's all it needs is a little bit of turn of luck to get yourself back in the game. Now, that's the opening even after the first three darts. Wow, that was a flyer, wasn't it? And even psychologically, there's a big difference between 4 0 and 3 1. And can Anderson break White's throw here to go 3 2? And then uh, who knows? 
The big Trevor's just eluding Ian White. Uh, he hopes temporarily. Well, you're right about that psychological side of things. I mean, that last, that double five is worth two legs, actually, to Gary Anderson. 4-0 to 3-1. Massive difference. So, top of the shop here for Gary Anderson, and if he hits the two trebles, he will go for it as well. That's one in, moves across to the left. Oh, and pulls a five. That could be a massive mistake from Anderson because comes back with only perhaps one dial at the bullseye and if Ian White can just pick up the treble 20 which he's done and all of a sudden things are looking brighter in the Anderson camp Back to 3-2, and throwing first here. Wow. Well, the turbo is probably 50% on at the moment. It wasn't on at the beginning of the game. Well, you can see signs wow. that uh, it's running a bit richer now. Another good visit to the board from Gary Anderson. It is on his throw. And at one time, it was 3-0 down, and White had darts to go 4-0 up. Anderson has pegged it back, is on the verge of levelling it all up at three legs all. Well, Anderson not really making the most of that uh, slack visit by White in his previous visit to the board. But he is down to 110. Oh, double 18 now. Oh, great dart from Gary Anderson. Gets him right back in this game. And, and like we've said, Mike, how the game can turn on just a couple of darts. I mean, he had one dart left in his hand, wants double five. It would have either been four nil down, but he's got it back and he's got going and he's pegged it all the way back. Yes, the turbo certainly has been fired up now by the Scotsman. Straight after this game, we'll have our first semi-final. Wow. Yellow Classen against Justin Pipe. Who won that race anyway? The hair or the tortoise? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then after our second semi-final between Ronnie Baxter and one of these two gentlemen, we'll just have a little bit of an interval to let the players get their breaths back before wow. we have the final of the German Darts Championship for 2014 with £20,000 up for grabs for the winner. Well, he doesn't need to go the bullseye route, so we'll go 16s here instead of the 14s. That leaves double eight, just to the left of that, on the wire. He's going to come back with at least another three darts. Double four now to edge in front. Just on the wire. And yes, sneaks it right in the corner.
Well, White not really One. making the most of Anderson's 60 to open the uh, leg, but getting a steady ton. And Anderson just uh, going around the houses to find a treble. Gary Anderson has gone off the boil a bit and uh, Ian White has gone and found the treble himself again. And the leg by Anderson, it's a must win. If he's to go on and win this game. Both players just a little bit under par in this leg, but this is better from uh, White if he can find another one of those trebles. Well, he is down to a finish. Great shot that there by Anderson. Yes, very good darts from Gary Anderson. He's going to get two darts at a double when he comes back. Well, he's certainly going to get them now. As Ian White will only just set it up. The big 18 for double top for Gary Anderson. There's the big 18. The red bit at the top of the house. And he puts the dart smack bang in the middle. And we're at four all. Now it's a best of three game. With Ian White going to throw twice out of those three legs. Yep, nothing to choose between them after the first eight legs of this match. is a massive chance for Gary Anderson these three darts another one of those gives him the throw and that's the last thing he wanted to do just a little bit of a snatch could have really done with the 140 in that visit not really been punished Anderson so another chance here a 140 is needed respond with a 140 and that's what Anderson needs to go against the throw but it won't happen now so poor visit there by Anderson and 99 to go to within one leg of the match well a poor visit the last three darts but Anderson now gonna have two darts at the 20s well, 12 for double top to break the throw and to go within one leg. Oh, the brilliant three darts from Gary Anderson. It's unbelievable that the previous three darts were so poor and then he just pulls it out of the bag. And that is Gary Anderson all over, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he's in the Premier League. That's why he's a joy to watch. The Ronnie O'Sullivan of darts. When he needs it, he can pull out a big finish out of the top draw there and again white things could have been so much uh, different for him but anderson really with a sucker punch and throwing first for the match here well i always seem to relate darts to other sports and, and match him up and if Gary Anderson was a golfer he'd be blasting them off the off the tee into the woods hacking it out of there 
putting a three iron to two foot and sinking the park. Great time to bang in a 180, and there he duly obliges to really turn the screw now, and he'll be back for 79. And as you were saying, Gary Anderson, when he needs to do it, he will find the darts from somewhere. Wants double top for the match, but he will be back with White still back on 236. top then for a European Tour semi-final place for Gary Anderson. Well, very little to choose between these two for the first eight legs. Gary Anderson. Gary Anderson.